Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of Whiteout Survival. I am back with a new guide video. This video will be very important. Today's guide is specially for those players who are from Generation 1, 2 and 3. There is a hidden trap in Generation 1, 2 and 3. Many players fall in the trap by mistake. I am here for you to save you from the trap. If you are already in the trap, I will tell way to get out. The mistake is very common, but this is the biggest mistake in the game made by players. Our today's topic is Gina. Let's jump in our video. Who is Gina? Gina is a very popular marksman class hero, mainly in generation 1 and 2, sometimes 3. The question is, what is the mistake we do? To understand this, we need to go in depth of the topic. Gina is a female character wielding a crossbow in her hand. She is a combat type hero. That means she is designed to fight and destroy opponent. We get two popular marksman hero in generation one, Gina and Bahiti. I am not counting Zinman and Chorus in this video since they are development hero. Bahiti is a male character with a gun in his hand. He is also a combat type hero. How to understand combat and development type? For combat hero, you will find a red sword icon under their name. Gina has this icon. The Hidi also has this icon. On the other hand, development hero has green hammer icon under their name. Chorus and Zinman both have this icon. Now what new players do in generation one? The Hidi shark is hard to obtain. But Gina Shark is easily available in Gina's Revenge event. So when new players play Gina's Revenge, they get a lot of Gina Shard. And they easily make 5-star Gina. 5-star Gina has good stats. So in hero list, Gina moves forward than Bahiti. New players think Gina is strong hero. So they start using Gina everywhere in open world, even in PvP. This is the trap where every new player jumps by mistake. Though 5-star Gina is strong, Gina is not in right place for you. Gina is not designed to fight in PvP. To understand this, we need to study Gina's skill. For open world or PvP battle, we consider only the right side, that is Expedition. First Expedition skill is Endurance Training. This skill reduces stamina cost by 20% when Gina is in queue. Second Expedition skill is Quick Paste. This skill increases marching speed by 100% when Gina is in queue. Do you see something weird? The weird thing is, there is no mention of attack or defense skill. Without skill related to attack or defense, a hero has no use in PvP. Gina is a combat hero, but at the same time, it is true. Gina has no use in PvP. Many new players use Gina in PvP, and they do mistake. I will make you understand with Real example, you can see a target on the screen. I am scouting to show how many troops are there. The target has 90,000 troops of T8 with Molly, Sergi, Bahidi. Each unit of troops is 30,000 in number. Now I will attack the target. This video is mainly for generation 1 and 2. So I will use such heroes which are relevant to those generations. I will use Sergi as infantry, Molly as lancer, Gina as marksman. Look carefully, I am using Gina as marksman. To attack the target, I will use low number of troops because my troop level is higher than target. I will use each unit of troop 10,000 in number. My troops are going to hit. Now let's check the result. As you can see, I have given high damage to target. Now, we will see what our Gina did in the battle. You can clearly see, Gina triggered both skill one time, but it had no use. Every hero triggers skill one time by default. But it does not mean it is doing something in battlefield. On the other hand, Tahiti triggered his skill several times and got some kills. You can ask why I'm considering this on the basis of kills. Because every skill does not take kill. Yes, every skill does not take kill. 
but every combat skill does not trigger just one time. Moreover, Gina triggered both skills, it does not mean. It actually did something in Battlefield. Because reducing stamina will not do anything in PvP. I will perform this experiment again. But to clear your doubts, this time, I will use Bahidi as marksman. Our whole lineup will be same. Just in Gina's place, I will use Bahidi. And, I will use exact same number troop like before. We are going to hit again. Let's check the report. You can see, gear, troops, everything was same. Only in Gina's place, I used Bahidi. You can clearly see the difference. My Bahidi used one skill eight times and got more than 3,000 kills. Opponent Bahidi also fought back and got some kills using same skill. Now you can understand what is going on with Gina. Gina is, no doubt, a combat hero, but she has no use in PvP. If you use her in any PvP battle, her skills will not do anything. In the same battle, Bahidi will give better performance. Even if Bahidi has low star level than Gina. Don't count Crystal Gunpowder, it is coming from troops. If you are a new player, don't use Gina in any type of PvP battle. Now the question is, what is the solution of this problem? If we don't use Gina, what we should use? I have already told the solution through my experiment. Yes, Bahidi is our solution. We have to use Bahidi in place of Gina when we will go for PvP. Now the question is, what is use of Gina? Or Gina has no use. Of course, Gina has use. If you are from Generation 1 and 2, you can use Gina in Arena. Gina is excellent hero in Arena because of her some powerful exploration skills. Gina's first exploration skill, Incendiary Arrow, can deal massive area damage. If you already know perfect positioning, you can use Gina to win many Arena battle. For more details on Arena, check my Arena guy, link given in pinned comment. The second use of Gina is inside her expedition skill. We just learned her expedition skill has no use in PvP, but it has other mind-blowing use. If you want to complete daily mission, you have to defeat minimum 3 Polar Terror every day. See? You need 25 Chief Stamina if you want to rally on Polar Terror. With this lineup, the cost is 25 Stamina. Now you can see, I have deployed Gina in Q, so the cost is reduced to 20. It is because, her first expedition skill can reduce stamina cost by 20%. We can use this trick. For one rally, the stamina is saved by 5. So for 3 rallies, stamina will be saved by 15. This is also applicable for beasts. For this skill of Gina, we can also use her in Mercenary Prestige. Mercenary Prestige event drains out heavy chief stamina, but we can play economically if we use Gina to complete Mercenary Prestige. These are all best uses of Gina. I just said, we have to use Bahidi in place of Gina. But how long we will do it? And is it for everyone? Free to play and Spender, both have different path to proceed. If you are free to play, you have to use Bahidi. In Generation 1, 2 and 3, because there is no other marksman available in these three generations. When you will reach Generation 4, you will get Lin in Lucky Wheel, so you can replace Bahidi using Lin. This is the path for free-to-play players. If you are a spender, you have to use Bahidi in Generation 1. When you will reach Generation 2, you will get Alonzo, you can replace Bahidi using Alonzo. When you will reach Generation 3, you will get Greg. You can neither replace Alonzo using Greg, or you can use Alonzo and Greg both. Spenders sometimes make another mistake here. They find Zinman as mythic hero, so they start using Zinman. But Zinman is not combat hero. He is development hero, so don't use Zinman in PvP. Though Zinman has one PvP skill, his other two skills are development skill. He is the exceptional hero. Just like Seo Yun and Jasser, he has one PvP skill. 
Seal Yun is development hero, and she has one PvP skill. Jasser is also development hero, he has one PvP skill. But we can use Seo Yun and Jasser as rally joiner, not Zingman, so it does not matter if you are free to play or spender. You have to use Bahiti for PvP. In Generation 1, you have seen why we don't use Gina for PvP and what we can use in alternative. Next time, when you are fighting for Fortress, Facility, Sunfire Castle, don't use Gina. You can use Gina and Fortress only for the first time if you want to get the first reward. The player who captures the fortress before others get the first reward. Gina has marching speed, so Gina can be effective for this task. If you want to know more about Mercenary Prestige, check my guy. Link given in pinned comment. Complete Gina's revenge quickly to get Gina shard, because this event comes for limited time in each server. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.